Mambe Grand Kitchen. My name is Lele Ninga again. I'm a cook from Cameroon and I'm also a health and lifestyle trainer for Ensemble Manchester. So today I've chosen to make a Cameroonian street f food called soya and uh, I will also make Cameroonian chili. I'm going to be introducing you to Cameroonian, typical Cameroonian spices that are often used to make street food, such as soya. To marinate the soya, you will need onion, garlic, a bit of ginger, njang sang, quatre côté, poivre blanc, poivre noir, and seasoned with some maggi cube. your meat and turn it into soya what you will need is uh, onion garlic some leek ginger and now I'm going to go in through the typical Cameroonian spices you've got a bit of njang sang just about two to three grains so I will get just one baby the quatre côté just a tiny bit of it as well this is uh, quite strong spices. So I just get a very small amount of it. And what I'm going to be doing with those uh, traditional Cameroonian spices is that I'm going to just roast them for a, a few minutes. I put them on my stone for grinding. Start taking the skin off the, the baby. And uh, usually when you bring your own unique spices, people are always curious to find out a bit more about it because they want to try something new. Once I've grinded these, I just follow up with the white pepper. After the white pepper, I usually go for the black one as well, just a bit of the black one. Grind it together. I was doing my cookery classes and someone asked me, so but why don't you just use a normal mixer to grind your spices? But it's mainly also the memories. My mom brought this stone for me when she came back from Cameroon about 15 years ago. And just having kept it for so long, just connect me with my mom and with the time that we've spent together. I start peeling my ginger, not too much, just a bit of ginger. I've just cut some of it. I go down. The ginger need to be grinded as well. <laughs> just mix that there. Then I bring the garlic in before it goes into the mixer. Because it doesn't lose its taste from being mixed too much in the process of it. So now I can chop my leek. Then Chop my onion. They're all going to go into the blender. Because I'm also going to be doing the chili, keep the parsley on one side and mix those spices which are going to be used for chili sauce in the end. Parsley is mainly a typical condiment to season meat. So I don't need it for my traditional chili sauce. So what I'm going to do here is just mix those typical spices first to the onions and leek. And then it's all going to go into the mixer with some Maggi cube. So I just crunch that in. Then I put it into the blender Get into the blender. So we just mix it with the oil instead of water. I know it's quite a lot of oil, but we're not going to use all that. It's just for marinade and it's going to just rust in the end. So when I see it going on like that, you know that it's almost done. I'm going to just split it into two, 
save some there for the chili. Use the other part now for the marinade and add some of my parsley into it. Then I blend this again. I pour this part into the meat. And that's it. Just use your hand to mix it well. What I'm doing here now is I just get the spices to penetrate the strips of beef. And make it like that. When you do it with steak, it's quite easy because steak is soft. But I'm not braising steak because it's more cheaper. The next stage is that we're going to put the meat on skewer to make the soya. Just gently thread it in. And with this, if you have children at home, they usually love to get involved into this process of putting meat on the skewers. So now I've finished putting the uh, meat on the skewers to make my soya. And I just get all the spices to get in to eat. And I'm going to just uh, put them onto a grill. So I'm just going to close my... Leave it for a few minutes while I'm starting to prepare the chili. So now we're going to be making the chili sauce to go with the soya. Some people prefer to use dry chili, but I'm making my fresh chili because chili is good for your body organs. And also when you travel abroad, it's always a good way of actually getting rid of bacteria that you will have consumed while you're there. To make the chilies, remember I put away some of the marinade for my beef skewers that I'm just going to be rotating now. And then for the chilies now, I like to just remove the seed inside it and cut it this. You get rid of the seed inside it. The marinade that we used for the, for the meat, we just add them in there. So now I'm ready to blend the chili sauce. Give it a little shaking. Now, that's your chili sauce. So the skewers are ready. It's up to you whether you want to have it with baguette. It's a street food. So I've got this baguette from the local artisan shop. So you can use it either with a baguette. Or if you want to go more traditional, this is bobolo. And you can just boil it into water. You can purchase this at the Cameroonian shops or in the, some of the Asian shops. It's a street food. All you do with it, you can dip it into some chili. And mm. Mouth watering. Now we're going to just uh, cut our French baguette to finish off. This is your finished product. I hope you've learned something from this and that you'll be able to get involved with your family to make some soya enjoy have a good time it's good for you it brings you together connect you with your children and it's also fun i hope you had a fantastic time and you've enjoyed cooking with me today at ensemble grand kitchen i look forward to see you next time for some new ideas and new recipe that you can try at home with your children and family see you next time bye bye